for worshiping the wrong god. Oh. Yeah, I love that Kramer guy. He comes in the room like this. Hey guys, it's loud guys. Today we are going to watch Peter is a president. So this will be a very very fun video. So it this is the first time you know we are not seeing a compilation video. We are seeing a video where this uh, is a whole episode itself. Huh, kind of yes, it's huh. a part of an episode. So it is like Peter has become a president here and what he does. I can't even imagine. We can't because Peter as a you know individual or as a citizen of a country is the worst. Worst. <laughs> <laughs> so imagining him as the president. But you know when they say you you always make the naughtiest one. The monitor of the class, hmm. and then the class improves. Improves. So if that is the case, I've let's. I've heard about this. You don't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. So let's see what happens. So let's start the video. video. Hey, Peter, you can't freak that outside. You, you can end up in jail, and not the good jail, like on Cinemax, the man jail. <laughs> go back and pay the bill, Peter. You uh, don't want to break the law. I can do whatever I want. Watch this. Oh, now oh. you're just being crazy. Hey, that's against the law. You're coming with me. Uh, 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 uh. Can't touch me. Why? He's, he has become the president. Oh. Attention, oh. delegates. This session of the United Nations is hereby convened. Man, this sucks. Hey, podium guy. <laughs> hey, I got a problem here. Excuse me. Some of us are here to learn. No one's talking to you, some Albania. Of us. Is there a problem back there? You bet your funny accent there's a problem. I'm stuck up here in the nosebleeds. I am president of Pretoria. I want a better seat. Oh, of course. How could we not have recognized the great nation of Pretoria? Have Pitoria. a seat up front. Well, that's more like it. And hey, would you also like a special satellite that can scratch your ass with a laser beam from space? Oh. oh. Have those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're making fun of him. He'll be very angry. How you doing? <laughs> you mind if I, uh... Oh, they don't respect you. What do you mean? Listen to me. I used to be the laughing stock around here until my country invaded Kuwait. Now I have a seat Wait. in the third row. Look, the only way to get any respect around here is to find something you want and just dig it. <laughs> Wait a second. If everybody respects you, how come you're still eating here by yourself? I don't shower. Oh, that's what <laughs> I don't is. shower. <laughs> Take what I want, huh? Good morning, Joe. Uh, Peter, what are you doing to my pool? Oh, this is the newest province of Pretoria. Pretoria. I call it Joe Hio. What? <laughs> you can't just come over here and annex my pool. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, according to paragraph 7, sentence 3, word 8 of the Geneva Convention, the. So, tough luck, Swanson. <laughs> the. <laughs> the. <laughs> so, so Peter thing, no. Pretoria has invaded U.S. soil. What are our options? Well, a military strike against such a small nation could cause an international backlash. True, but this kind of behavior can't be tolerated. Agreed. I suggest we start with political sanctions. Very good, gentlemen. Political sanctions? Pretoria invaded. Well, I guess the world will show me a little more respect now. Dad, I tried to go to school, but this guy won't let me. Oh, yeah? Him and what army? The U.S. Army. Oh. Oh, that's a good army. <laughs> the scene outside the U.S. Oh God, border as trap. the sun rises on day one of Operation Desert Clam. Good morning, I'm Diane Simmons. We now go to Tom Tucker, live at the site of the U.S. blockade. Tom, Tucker. Tom. Diane, Tom I'm Tom here Tom at the Pretorian Front, where the U.S. has cut off electricity, water, and gas to the tiny four-bedroom republic. Mm. The situation is very <laughs> tense and extremely dangerous. <laughs> He's making the sound of those planes. Oh. What? Over here, honey, I'm chopping carrots for a salad. Here, use this headlamp. Hey, where's the kids? Upstairs, doing their homework by candlelight. Damn pig dog Americans messing with my family like this. You know, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, you know. Peter, I'm up here. Oh, sweetie, maybe you should go over to Peter Joseph's. Peter is just looking school. at it. <laughs> we get it. We're a real country, and we deserve all the rights and privileges that everyone else gets. But we have to think about the welfare of our children. Why is it Stewie, is that you? Look, Lois, my mind's made up. I'm not giving up an inch of Pretorian soil. It's not a sign of weakness to compromise. I just <laughs> you. Peter, stop staring at my chest. Oh, yeah, sorry, Lois. Oh, it was Brian. <laughs> And we're back with our roundtable discussion on the Pretorian crisis. Uh, you were making a point, John? 
Yes, what the United States is doing to Pretoria right now is criminal. <sighs> Nonsense. Force is the only thing a despot like Peter Griffin understands. Oh, fine. Uh, Why don't uh, we just uh, drop uh, a bomb uh, on that? All them? right. Uh, yeah, what about that, Eleanor? Oh, it's, well, it's ridiculous, clearly. I mean, he's a factory worker, not a despot. You're missing the point. Our blockade is turning Pretoria into a third world country. Hmm. What is this? News is stupid. <laughs> okay, can anybody tell me what the square root of the hypotenuse is when... Chris, is that a note? No. Yes, it is. Would you like to read it for the rest of the class? No. Just read it, Lardo. <laughs> I think Mrs. Griffin's hot. Go to your oh. room. <laughs> Damn you, Rupert! It's his Keep mom. These some insects away from me, or you'll end up like Mr. Giraffe. Hi, I'm Susan Sarandon. <laughs> A lot of you know me as Tim Robbins' mother, but I'm actually his girlfriend. Oh. And this is Stewie. What the deuce? For less than the ticket price of one of my movies about capital punishment or neo-feminism, you can make sure that Stewie never goes hungry again. Oh. Yes, and from oh. the look of those sweater cows, so can you. Ooh. Pretoria. Good morning, subjects. What's for breakfast? Nothing, you idiot. You don't have president. any food. Mm. Peter, this has gotten way out of hand. Look at what we're reduced to. Our own baby has to use newspapers for diapers. No, 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 this is fine. One second, I'm just about finished with Family Circus. There we are. Who did that, Jeffy? Not me. Thank <laughs> God, I haven't seen everyone this miserable since that time we were tortured. Tortured? Why were they tortured? Well, I'm sorry, w w were you just whipping me or did I just, did I just get bit by a mosquito? <laughs> Hey, Lois, if, if, you, if you happen to see the dungeon master, can you, can you tell him his grandmother was just trying to work me over? It's time to call this whole thing off. Nobody's on our side. Are you nuts? Look at all these telegrams. Nice going, Libya. You the man, North Korea. North Great Korea. job, Iraq. <laughs> Iraq, Lois. You know what? I'm, I'm going to invite a few of these fellas over for a party. Oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. Don't bring these guys Oh, See, Lois, I told you we had allies. Hey, Slobodan, you made it. I didn't know what to bring, so I made coleslaw. It's made out of people. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm. Hey, is Momar here yet? Yeah, he's over there with Saddam. And then Jerry guessed that her name was Mulva. <laughs> <laughs> that show is so funny. It really reminds me of me and my friends. You know, the way we just hang out. Before I kill them for worshipping the wrong god. Oh. Yeah, I love that Kramer guy. He comes in the room like this. <laughs> well, I can't do it, but you know. Marco. <laughs> Polo. Marco, Polo, fish out of water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are looking good. Yeah, Ma Manuel, Manuel, do you want? Yeah, get, can you ask him if he wants cheese? Hey, hey, Fidel, no running around the pool. Fidel Castro. I say, I say, Ahmed, what, what, what is that thing you people do when, you, when, when you're about to assassinate an infidel? Ah, oh. you mean this? <laughs> oh God, yes, I love that. <laughs> Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? America. I've had enough. You can keep this filthy mess you call a country. Oh, no. On, this is treason. Oh, for God's sake, Peter, make an example of her. Nothing says obey me like a bloody head on a fence post. Oh. Let's go. Oh. We're crossing the border. Get Goodbye, your own mother. Griffin. Well, Brian, at least you're loyal enough to stay with me. Well, I've stuck by you through worse. Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! 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 Good morning. I guess it's you and me against the world, buddy. Attention, President Griffin. As you may presently yourself fully be aware of, my grammar sucks. But more importantly, we're about to commence Operation Bomb the Crap Out of Your House. Oh. The guy who thinks up the names is on vacation. Fire! To answer your question, something like that. The guy who aims was in the job. Yep, here he is. Next one's coming right at you. Face it, Peter, it's over. Why don't you sit down with the mayor and negotiate some yes. kind of treaty? Mm -hmm. Negotiate? <clears throat> Peter Griffin doesn't know the meaning of the word negotiate. Oh, no. Oh. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> we invited Jesse Jackson to open our negotiations with a prayer. Oh. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. So in his place, we have Latoya Jackson. Thanks. Um, <laughs> rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Yay, God. How very inappropriate. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Now, Mr. Griffin, would you like to begin? Okay. After much thought and consideration, 
I have decided to make a concession or two. Very good, Peter. First, I will return Joe's pool. Oh, you got that right. But nice. In exchange, I demand access to it on alternate weekends. No. Accept it. I also demand to remain my own independent nation. Absolutely not. Well, how about not. you just give me a pen? You mean this cheap little pen we have millions of back at the office? Yeah. No. Oh, man, so after all this, I end up with nothing? <laughs> how about this? Every night when you get home from work, I'll scratch your back with a matchbook cover like you like. Oh, Lois. Oh. Would you call me Big Rudy when you do it? No. <laughs> and that's the story of Pretoria, a little nation that 200 years ago seceded and repatriated in less than a week. Any questions? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't get it. So, like, can the family understand the baby or, or, or what, what's the deal with that? <laughs> so finally the nightmare ended because what? seeing Peter as a president but the good thing was he was not the president of America he was America. he I made his own, own country, country Pretoria it was just his house maybe huh. or town yeah so he was just angry with I think so the mayor or something and he just made his own country like Pretoria maybe because they respect disrespected him no? hmm and uh -huh. that is the worst thing and what he did was so the whole country of America too went against him that whatever happens just even his own family him. yes but what could they do man light is not there uh, they water not is happy. not there what kind of country or a nation he has built huh, but it was all about his own craziness and craziness. he was living in so how did you guys find this video do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.